The year is 2025, a year that promises to be a turning point in the history of automotive technology. The world watches with bated breath as a Zimbabwean inventor, Maxwell Chikambuzo, unveils a revolutionary creation. His innovation has the potential to change the way we think about transportation forever. His invention? A self-charging electric vehicle, the Saith FEV. This car promises to eliminate the need for traditional charging methods. Imagine a world where cars power themselves, free from the shackles of charging stations and fossil fuels. A world where the air is cleaner and the roads are quieter. This is the future Chikumbuzo promises. A future where energy scarcity becomes a relic of the past. Renewable energy sources like solar and wind power the cities, creating a sustainable environment. The unveiling sends ripples of excitement and disbelief across the globe. News outlets buzz with the announcement and people everywhere are eager to learn more. Could this be the breakthrough the world has been waiting for? Engineers and scientists begin to brainstorm the possibilities and implications of such a technology. The automotive industry holds its breath. Energy giants take notice. The potential impact on their businesses is enormous. Chikumbuzo's invention has the potential to disrupt the established order. It could redefine the future of transportation and energy consumption. But with any radical innovation comes a wave of scrutiny and skepticism. Experts and critics alike are eager to see if the claims hold up under rigorous testing. Can Chikumbuzo's claims withstand the harsh glare of scientific examination? The world watches as the Saith FEV undergoes extensive testing. Only time will tell if this self-charging EV is a revolution in the making or an elaborate hoax. The future of transportation hangs in the balance and the world waits with anticipation. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's story is one of resilience, determination, and an unwavering belief in his vision. Born and raised in Zimbabwe, Chikumbuzo's journey is a testament to the power this of human the ingenuity of and the relentless inventor, pursuit of dreams. Despite growing up in a modest environment, he was always fascinated by technology and innovation. He didn't have a privileged upbringing nor did he have access to the best educational resources. He didn't graduate from a prestigious university, and in fact he had no formal higher education, Instead he was largely self-taught, driven by an insatiable curiosity and a desire to learn. He dared to dream of a world powered by limitless clean energy, envisioning a future where technology could solve some of the world's most pressing issues. Driven by this vision, Chikumbuzo established Saith Technologies, a company dedicated to developing groundbreaking technologies. His mission was clear, to create innovative solutions that could address global challenges, from energy shortages to environmental sustainability. The journey was far from easy. He faced countless setbacks, financial struggles, and skepticism from those who doubted his unconventional methods. But Chikumbuzo persevered, driven by an unyielding belief in his vision and a relentless work ethic. The unveiling of the self-charging electric vehicle in 2025 marked the culmination of years of tireless work, innovation, and unwavering dedication to his dream. The heart of Chikumbuzo's self-charging EV lies in a technology he calls the Microsonic Energy Device or Hypersonic Energy Device. Details about its inner workings are shrouded in secrecy. Chikumbuzo claims this device can harness radio frequencies from the environment and convert them into usable energy. Imagine a world where cars, buses, and trains run solely on the airwaves around us. This is the future Chikumbuzo envisions. But the potential applications of this technology extend far beyond vehicles. Imagine homes powered by self-sustaining energy systems, free from the constraints of power grids. Envision airplanes soaring across continents, unburdened by the weight of heavy fuel loads. This technology, if proven true, has the potential to revolutionize transportation, energy consumption, and our very way of life. The implications of Chikumbuzo's self-sustaining technology are staggering. Imagine a world free from the grip of fossil fuel dependency. Picture a future where the toxic waste of lithium-ion batteries becomes a distant memory. This technology has the potential to usher in an era of clean, sustainable energy, transforming the way we power our lives. The environmental benefits are undeniable. Reduced greenhouse gas emissions, cleaner air, and a healthier planet are all within reach. Developing nations, often burdened by energy poverty, could find themselves empowered by access to affordable and sustainable power. This technology holds the key to unlocking a future where energy is no longer a barrier to progress but a catalyst for global prosperity. Despite the potential of Chikumbuzo's invention, 
a wave of skepticism follows its unveiling. Critics, including scientists and engineers, question the validity of his claims. The laws of thermodynamics, they argue, preclude the possibility of creating energy from nothing. Chikambutso's lack of formal qualifications and his decision to keep the technology a trade secret further fuel the doubts. Adding to the controversy, investigations reveal that the Sayeth FEV closely resembles a modified Kai X3 Pro EV, a Chinese manufactured electric vehicle. The microsonic energy device also comes under scrutiny, with some claiming it bears a striking resemblance to commercially available portable power stations. These revelations cast a shadow of doubt over Chikumbutso's claims, leading many to believe that the self-charging EV is nothing more than an elaborate hoax. Section 6 Seeds of Suppression Why Breakthroughs Face Resistance Chikumbutso's story is not unique. History is rife with examples of groundbreaking inventions met with resistance, skepticism, and even outright suppression. From Nikola Tesla's wireless energy transmission to John Kanzius's saltwater fuel, revolutionary technologies often face an uphill battle for recognition and acceptance. There are several reasons why this occurs. Established industries, threatened by disruption, may actively work to discredit and suppress technologies that challenge their dominance. Skepticism from the scientific community, while essential for rigorous examination, can sometimes stifle innovation. And ingrained beliefs about what is possible can blind us to the potential of radical new ideas. What if the next big breakthrough in energy didn't come from a Silicon Valley lab, but from a workshop in Zimbabwe, Africa? Imagine a car that never needs charging, unlike Tesla, or internal combustion engine cars powered by fuel. These new cars and a racing motorbike are being powered by something called microsonic energy. This is the reality of Zimbabwe-born inventor, Maxwell Chikumbutso, a 44-year-old man and a high school dropout. The, 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 the vehicle it uses is what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, which is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009 which harness radio frequencies converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing. But we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I tell me to design it. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work, uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. The microsonic energy-powered vehicles and motorbike will officially be launched by the President of Zimbabwe on February 10th, 2025. This cars promise an unlimited driving range, top speeds of up to 220 kilometers per hour, and the ability to power your home just like a Tesla or without ever having the need for even just a single charge. But his journey hasn't been easy. Years ago, Chikumbutso was poisoned in the US, losing his business partner in the process. He even received threats on his life. Despite these challenges, he persevered, driven by a belief in his vision. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Chedi didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. Uh, so I was always in Zimbabwe and United States of America until he heard about myself. Then he invited me. The president. He, the president, yes. Then he invited me to, 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 to come back and put my base in Zimbabwe. So right now I'm based in Zimbabwe. Best advantage, they could, the driving range is unlimited. I charge this way, I eat with my kids. I'm going to drive for the next 20 years. And the motor car is a true tower, the upper market, the Samurai Manama Blitz. Yeah, from 2015, we have been working hard, testing it, homologations, CPCA certifications, ISO certifications, FCC standards. She said, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Even when it comes to Zimbabwe, it went through VAT. So I am not going to go through the market. You are the inventor. Yeah, I'm the one who invented the technology. Maxwell Chikumbutso's story is as incredible as his inventions. A self taught genius. He began tinkering with gadgets in the late 90s, building radio transmitters, digital navigators, self-powering televisions, and even a turbine engine from scrap metal. He says his inspiration comes from visions, ideas that come to him in the night. Is there any other vehicle in the world? Uh, with this technology, you know, this is the first vehicle in the world. 
Where is it? Yes, yeah, Zimbabwe. Yes, I want to be spot in three million. Stay there. I said, let them eat their three million. Come here, eat such. <laughs> this was a presentation to the president of Zimbabwe, who has been the financial force behind this project, but the microsonic energy-powered vehicles will officially be launched on February 10, 2025. The highlight of the pre-unveiling at the presidency was obviously the car, which he made in collaboration with a Chinese automaker. According to Chikumbutso, he partnered with Chinese car maker Kaiyi to make the car, which is called the Kaiyi Safe. Chikumbutso says, the car has an unlimited driving range. It does not need any charging. It just works, just like that, and it can hit a top speed of 220 km per hour, as well as power your house, just like a Tesla. So according to Chikumbutso, the deal is, Kaiyi provided the vehicle, and he basically installed the microsonic motor into the vehicle. If fully produced, the vehicles could cut Zimbabwe's fuel imports, and Chikumbutso suspects that the oil and vehicle manufacturers in the United States could have had a hand in his poisoning. The automotive industry too found itself at a crossroads. Established automakers, heavily invested in internal combustion engine technology, faced the prospect of a radical disruption of their business model. Chikumbutso's self-charging EV, if genuine, could render their existing investments obsolete, forcing them to adapt or risk being left behind in a rapidly changing market. Imagine, Chikumbutso challenged a world free from the grip of oil cartels, where energy independence translated into political and economic power for nations that had long been at the mercy of energy giants. His vision struck a chord with those who saw in his invention a chance to break free from the shackles of a fossil fuel-dependent world. The potential implications of Chikumbutso's claims extended far beyond the borders of Zimbabwe, sending ripples of concern through boardrooms of some of the world's most powerful industries. The $7 trillion oil and gas sector, built on the extraction and combustion of fossil fuels, faced an existential threat from a technology that could render gasoline and diesel obsolete. Section 5. Whispers and Doubts As Chikumbutso's profile grew, so too did the scrutiny surrounding his claims. Scientists and engineers around the world, bound by the laws of physics and years of established research, raised concerns about the feasibility of his self-charging technology. They pointed to the lack of peer-reviewed studies, independent verification, and the absence of a working prototype that could be rigorously tested. The scientific community, while open to groundbreaking discoveries, operates on a foundation of evidence and reproducibility. Chikumbutso's refusal to fully disclose the technical details of his inventions, citing intellectual property concerns, further fueled skepticism. He countered that he had faced attempts to steal his technology in the past, and his reluctance to share his secrets stemmed from a desire to protect his inventions and ensure they benefited his people. Despite the lack of scientific validation, Chikumbutso's supporters, many of whom had witnessed his demonstrations firsthand, remained steadfast in their belief. They argued that his inventions were not hoaxes, but genuine breakthroughs that threatened the status quo, leading to a concerted effort to discredit and silence him. Section 6, The Unveiling and Its Aftermath The tension between Chikumbutso's claims and the skepticism they engendered reached a fever pitch in 2023 when he announced a public demonstration of his latest creation, the Scyth FEV, a sleek, futuristic-looking electric vehicle that he claimed could travel indefinitely without needing to be plugged in. This bold claim was met with both excitement and doubt, as many wondered if such a technological marvel was truly possible. The world watched with a mix of anticipation and doubt, eager to witness whether Chikumbutso could deliver on his audacious promises. The event was broadcasted live, drawing viewers from all corners of the globe, each person holding their breath in anticipation. The demonstration held in Harare, Zimbabwe, drew a large crowd, including government officials, potential investors, and members of the international press. The atmosphere was electric, with everyone eager to see if Chikumbutso could truly revolutionize the automotive industry. Chikumbutso, dressed in a sharp suit, presented his invention with the confidence of a seasoned showman, outlining its capabilities and the revolutionary impact it would have on the world. His charisma and passion were palpable, captivating the audience. The Saith FEV, adorned with sleek lines and an aerodynamic profile, captivated onlookers. Its design was not only visually stunning but also promised unparalleled efficiency and performance. It seemed to embody the promise of a future free from gas stations and charging cables, a symbol of hope and progress for a nation eager to embrace technological advancement. The crowd's excitement was palpable, as they envisioned a world transformed by this innovation. Chikumbutso claimed the vehicle was fully functional, powered solely by his revolutionary energy harvesting system. This groundbreaking technology, if proven effective, could change the way we think about energy and transportation forever. Section 7. The Walls Close In 
Following the unveiling of the Scythe FEV, a wave of doubt and scrutiny began to engulf Chikumbutso's claims. Investigative journalists, digging into the background of the invention, uncovered inconsistencies and red flags that cast doubt on the authenticity of the self-charging electric vehicle. The dream of a revolution seemed to be crumbling. A closer examination of the Saith FEV revealed striking similarities to an existing electric vehicle model manufactured by a Chinese automaker. Reverse image searches and comparisons of design features confirmed that the Saith FEV was not a groundbreaking invention but rather a rebranded version of an already available electric car. Further scrutiny revealed that other inventions showcased by Chikumbutso, including a hypersonic energy generator, were also misrepresented. The generator, touted as a revolutionary device capable of producing vast amounts of clean energy, turned out to be a readily available portable power station sold on popular online marketplaces. Section 8. A dream deferred or dashed. The revelations about the true nature of Chikumbutso's inventions sent shockwaves through his supporters and the wider scientific community. What began as a story of hope and innovation took a dark turn, morphing into a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the allure of easy answers to complex problems. In the wake of these revelations, Zimbabwean authorities launched an investigation into Chikumbutso's dealings, leading to the seizure of his lab and equipment. He faced accusations of fraud, deception, and misappropriation of funds. The once celebrated inventor found himself at the center of a scandal, his reputation tarnished, his legacy in ruins. The story of Maxwell Chikumbutso serves as a stark reminder of the importance of critical thinking, scientific rigor, and independent verification. While his claims initially captivated the imagination, they ultimately unraveled under scrutiny, exposing the fragility of narratives built on hype and the human capacity for self-deception. At this junction, we can see through the proxy of reality, a guy from Africa for Africa who outsmarted not just Elon Musk, but Western cooperation. Financially, protect this man at all cost Africans, the real gold sets to crash the global market for your affordability and sustainability is here, a hero Africa will forever be proud of. Don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and family who dreams of freedom from cooperation to self. I remain your brother from Africa DUI Assistance, let me know what you think in the comments section.